Hey, what's up everyone? Um, this is Daniel Cox back again. Um, my second YouTube video ever. So, um, you know, hope, uh, hope you guys are gonna enjoy the content that's to come. Uh, I understand these ones are a little bit uh, not as exciting, but uh, you know, I feel it's important <clears throat> for everybody to get some, some context. As uh, you know, the person uh, that's, that's thinking of doing this, uh, this project and you know, their background, you know, their knowledge and stuff like that. So, um, because there's a lot of good content on the internet um, and on YouTube especially right now but the one thing I would say is there's a lot of guys or girls that, that do this stuff and they do have some kind of like construction background or they, they have you know a good knowledge base or a good foundation to uh, to build off of so for example the guy that I follow a lot is uh, Frank Beltieres shout out to Frank um, he's the guy that I follow really closely and he has an electrician uh, background you know he's been in electrical field for um, I believe he, he said like almost 20 years something like that so you know when it comes to the electrical which is a big part of the food truck you know he knows what he's doing so you know my question was okay well what about someone that doesn't have you know a construction background or any kind of um, you know electrical plumbing or anything like that um, which that's me um, I work in you know, grocery retail, as you can see, um, in management. Um, I have done a little bit of duct work, which I mentioned in my last video, but I mean, when I, you know, I was like 17, 18, 19 years old, didn't really know what I was doing. Um, you know, my uncle really took me step by step what I needed to do. Um, I was more there for more support than anything, but you know, I got a little bit of an idea of, of the ventilation field. So I felt it was important, you know, because there's, there's bound to be a lot of people like me that you know have been thinking about or dreaming about you know working for themselves and, and building a food truck but maybe feel that they don't have adequate knowledge or they don't have um, the experience uh, to be able to do something well <clears throat> I can tell you right now I mean I don't have any of that and uh, and we're gonna give it a shot um, I have always found that I'm I'm pretty handy around the house uh, and I'm pretty good at fixing things um, I think I mentioned before, you know, my, my dad is an engineer, my brother as well. Uh, so maybe it's a genetic thing, I don't know, but um, I haven't, you know, physically done any um, licensed work. So uh, if that helps at all, you know, I, I've just, you know, I've built stuff at home, you know, I've built like a bar, uh, I've built, you know, furniture, tables, you know, I fixed stuff. And recently the garage broke. I've never done any kind of work on a garage door before. I guess it was a, a two-car garage, and, uh, and I fixed it. Just you figure it out. You know, you you go online, you research. My biggest thing is that I refuse to pay someone to do a job that I feel like I can do myself. If I can save money and I can use that money for you know my son, or I can use it for you know stuff that I want to do, why would I spend it <clears throat> on hiring someone to do a job? That I could probably do myself. Sure, it's going to take me a little bit longer because I might necessarily not have all the time to do it, but I'll figure it out. So, you know, th that, that's my, that's my uh, thinking. Um, you know, if you have the money to hire people, yeah, more for you. But you know, I don't. Um, so that's that. And then just a little bit of background about me. So I'm originally from the United Kingdom. You might be able to hear a little bit of an accent. I'm starting to lose it. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, I, I was uh, actually I was a school teacher uh, first, and when I moved to the states, didn't really make enough money as a teacher, so I moved to grocery retail into management. And uh, once you kind of get into that corporate world, it is kind of tough to get out of because it's very consuming. Um, people in in retail work really really hard, um, you know, and I see from experience that I work with a lot of great people, uh, a lot of not so great people. Um, but it is very consuming and the financial benefit isn't really that great I would say uh, once you get into you know top level management you know conversation is very good but you know the guys that are really in the trenches I would say uh, running the show uh, you know don't get compensated that well in my opinion so there was a point not too long ago, probably about two or three months ago, where I had $7 in my bank account, you know? I'm almost 30 years old. 
and I had seven dollars and that was without question you know the lowest point in my life and I actually I took a screenshot so maybe I can link it to this video I took a screenshot because at that moment you know I wanted to remember that low point I wanted to remember okay look damn you know you got you have seven dollars to me how are you supposed to take care of your son how are you supposed to create a life how are you supposed to build something for him when you can barely sustain yourself so and that came from you know silly decisions with debt and you're know, trying to keep myself afloat um had some personal stuff going on too so um with that being said you know like i said i took a screenshot of my bank account uh with the seven dollars just to remind myself of that low point and i think it's important to remember those points and i said to myself you know well this this is good this is it you know i draw the line in the sand here from here we're going to make it better and we're going to build something and we're going to we're going to do something great so that's what really spurred me to take the step to build the food truck um, and do it on a tight budget and you know create these videos to see if I can help maybe inspire some other people to do the same thing that may you know maybe open their bank account uh, every month and, and have seven dollars in there you know that there's the struggle really is widespread so uh, <clears throat> with that being said uh, I'm getting to work right now like I said uh, <laughs> In real life it does kind of get in the way of your dreams but you know you got to make the money to make the dream happen so um until next time guys thanks very much thanks for watching